Ooh, everybody. Ooh, we look dark, but I'm gonna go ahead. It's a long time since so I've done this like this. And, uh, so I want to talk to you about who is running this world. Okay? Y'all think that the Creator, Father God, and Jesus Christ is, but God, the Creator gave Satan, the devil, the authority over the earth. And I'm hoping that hopefully I can prove it to you, okay? Now, there's a difference between created and control, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is look at created. And, of course, we're going to go straight to Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So, God created everything. All right. So, now, now we want to go to 2 Peter. Let me see if I can find 2 Peter. And I should have marked these, but, of course, oh, no. That might have been a right thing to do. All right, here's Peter 1. And we want 2 Peter. And we want 2 Peter 2 and 19. All right. While they promised them liberty. That's freedom. You think you have freedom. They promised you freedom. Okay. They themselves are the servant of corruption. Our politicians are corrupt. And they're corrupt through Satan. For of whom a man is overcome of the same is to be brought into bondage. You are in bondage. There's not a thing you can do about it. There's not a thing I can do about it. Okay? The bondage that you are in you are blind to. You don't see it. Okay. Let's go to Job. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of you that doesn't like this teaching. But, hey, this teaching, I hope, opens your eyes. And you have to pray for yourself. And you have to look at things yourself. Now, I mean, you don't have to take... My word for it, I'm reading you what God's saying, not what I'm saying. All right, we want Job and 6 through 12. Now, there was a day when the Son of God came to the present, present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence comest thou? See? God don't even know what Satan's doing, okay? Right here. Where, where'd you come from, Satan? Okay? When Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. I was going here and there. See what kind of trouble I can get people into. And the Lord said to Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and eschewed evil. He's not an evil person. Okay? Then Satan answered the Lord and saith, Do Job fear God for naught? He fears you. I can't touch him. Hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house? And about all that he has on every side, thou hast blessed the works of his hand, and his substance is increased in the land. Okay. God blessed Noah. I meant Job. Okay. But Satan, he's saying, I can't touch him. But what's what happens? Put forth thy hand now. And touch all that he has. And he will curse thee to thy face. Do you hear that? Oh, man. I'm put forth a hand. 
Now, who's saying this? God or, or, or Satan? Well, let's go back and find out. Put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. This is Satan. <coughs> now listen to what the Lord says to Satan. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Hey, everything that you have is in Satan's power. You think he just done it to Job and you are better than Job? I don't think so. I'm not better than Job. I have Satan around me all the time. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So, if you go back and you continue to read down, you see what kind of trouble that Satan has done on Job. A lot. A lot of it. All right. Let's go to Ezekiel. And we want Ezekiel 33. All right, 33, I want 5 through 9. Okay. All right, he heard the sound of the trumpet, and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he had taken warning, shall deliver his soul. In other words, if you keep up with the signs of the time, and understand you're going to save your soul. If you listen to really what the people that really... Uh, uh, let's, let's go back. Let's go say, if you read the Bible, and I'm talking about the KJV, not these other Satan Bibles, then you're going to find out, you're going to have your eyes open, okay? And you're going to save your soul. But if you don't, you, you might as well live with what you do. All right, let's go on. But if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. Okay, okay. I'm trying to warn you of what's, going, what's happening, okay? And most people do not believe that Satan is the ruler of this world. He is. God created it. Satan's ruling it. But he cannot do something that God's... Hey, go on about your business. If I don't want you to do it, I'm going to tell you not. You can't do it. I'm going to be right there to stop you. Okay. All right. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his own iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So, now, from what um, the last video thing I put up, I can't remember what I named it, people are saying, no, God is the one that's in control of this world. Um, yeah, God's in control. But Satan is the one that has dominion over this world. And he is the one that's causing all the trouble. And if you look, you will find out that there is more Satanists going on now. And look, our free speech or take it is being taken away. So who's in control of that? You think God is saying, hey, take the free speech away? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, God is not saying take the free speech away. That's Satan's job. So, thou son of man, I have set thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. In other words, God's saying, hey, look, you better warn the people from me because I'm the one that's coming and I'm the one that's telling you, you need to learn the truth. All right, when I say unto the wicked, O oh, wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his, his way, and that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. All right, 
So, if you are doing wickedly and you don't know the truth, you need to be told the truth. Okay? Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked at his way to turn from it, in other words, the renewing of your mind, and if he do not turn from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou shalt deliver thy soul. All right. I'm telling you that Satan is what is running this world. Okay? You have Satanism all around you. Look at it. You'll see it. All right. Let's go on to Joshua 24. I got to go back. back, 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 back. Too far, Sandy. Joshua 24. If it seem evil to you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the God which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whom land you dwell. Okay? The Amorites. Okay? In the land you dwell. They serve false gods, all these people. But for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. <coughs> what, Lord? <coughs> what, Lord? The one that created it. Not the one that has dominion over it. Okay. Let's go to John. Uh, to go to John 14. And 14 and 6. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You have to go through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. The world has 20,000 blue gillion ways that you can make it to heaven. Okay? But you're not going to make it to heaven only through Jesus Christ. Not through the world's way. Alright, let's go to Matthew and 15. I ain't keeping you up, Emmerich. Uh -uh. Alright, good. Alright, Matthew 15. Alright, and we want 1 through 20. Then came Jesus to scribes, Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Now I want you to look at these scribes and Pharisees as your politicians and your police and your lawyers and all that government garbage. Why do thy disciples transgress the tra traditions of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your traditions? Oh, let's see. Your traditions are Christmas, Easter, 4th of July, blah, 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 blah. You understand all those. Now, those are your traditions, not God's. You, you throw away the commandments. You don't want to go by what God's laws are. You want to go by what the worldview is. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curses father and mother, let him die the death. Oh, let him die the death? But Sandy, you can't say that. Oh, I didn't say that. Jesus said that. Why did Jesus say that if your kid does not mind you, let him die the death? Because that puts the evil out of the world. Plain and simple. He said it, not me. Uh, but ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Or, look, that, little, that, that kid is a gift from God. Uh, okay. 
All right. And honor not his father or mother, he shall be free. Thus ye made a commandment of God of none effect by your traditions. In other words, if you don't kill that kid because that kid is unruly, and all you have thrown his commandments away. Now, like I said, he is saying that to put away the evil from you. Okay. Ye hypocrites, well did Elias the prophet of you say him, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and there honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So you see, they say, they say, oh, go to church, learn God's word. But what word? It's not the truth word, because if you go by what the, God's commandments, then we would have the evil put away from us. That's like God had said, kill all them in the land, kill them all, get rid of everything. But they didn't. What happened? They kept on falling in and out of all these false gods, all the Israelites, Jews, however you want to look at them over there. And they are in it still yet today. All right. All right. But in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrine of the commandments of man. So what did God say? If your kid's misbehaving and he will not straighten up, what? All right, and he called the multitude and said to him, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth that defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees are offended after they heard this saying? But he answered, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Okay. <clears throat> now, there is two different types of seed on this earth. You have got the Creator God's, His seed, and then you have gotten Satan's seed. Uh, it's true. Okay. So, they're going to be rooted up. Alright, 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So, if you want to be blinded by this world and follow their Jesus, then you're going to fall in the ditch. And that is the world's view. Okay. Now, y'all can do whatever you want. That's between you and your God. <laughs> okay? Because the Creator Father God won't have nothing to do with that. Alright, I'm going to go to Second Chronicles. Let's see if I can find it. No, it's Corinthians. Sorry about that. 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preaching in another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, uh, ye might well bear with him. So, in other words, if you want to believe what the worldview is, and you don't want to go read your Bible, and read it with an open heart for Jesus Christ, say, hey, Jesus, <coughs> help me throw away everything. Throw everything away in my mind. I don't want the worldview. I want your view. Then he will open up your eyes, and he will give it to you. Let's go back to Matthew. And I want 13. And I want 12. Alright. For whoever hath to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him. Wait a minute. I, mean, I think I've got this wrong. It's Matthew 24. Yes. Okay. Let's go down here 24. 
Now let's get this right. Alright, another parable, but he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed terror among the wheat, and went his way. Alright, so let's go back to the Garden of Eden. God made Adam and Eve. And what happened? Satan came. And planted another seed. Then you have Cain and Abel. Cain slew Abel. Now would Cain have slew Abel. If he was God's. I don't think he would have. Because he would have known death. Alright. 26. But when the blade was sprung up. And brought forth fruit. Then appeared the terrors also. These evil people showed up too. So these servants. Of the household came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? And he said unto him, An enemy had done this. And the servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, least while ye gather up the tares, the root up also the wheat with them. Now you're like, well, why didn't he do that? Well, let's take a look. Now, would you really want to serve God if he goes, Zap, you're gone, Satan. Then all the angels go, Oh, we have to fear God. But no. God said, No, I want you to fear me with love. So I'm going to let these terrors grow up together. Together. And I'm going to separate them when it comes to the wheat, the, the harvest. All right, let's go on. Uh, let both grow together until the harvest and the time of the harvest. I will say to the reapers, gather ye together. First, the tares. All right, so we're going to go through. We're going to tear up all them people that, uh, that is no good for nothing. They serve in this false Jesus that you're learning. From the world. Um, and bind them in bundles. And burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. In other words. He wants his people gathered up into his barn. All right, let's skip down to 39. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. You can't get no plainer than that. Alright, let's go back to Isaiah 30. Oh. Alright, I've got Isaiah 31 and 2. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and to have not asked at the mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. If you look at, let's see if I can't do it this way. President T is Pharaoh. And if you trust in his shadow, and then you trust in his sin. Okay, can you understand what I'm saying? Politics isn't nothing but Satan's tool like the TV to... Keep your mind off of Christ. Okay. That's as far as I'm going to try to go on that. Alright, well, Isaiah 14. And most of y'all already know this Isaiah 14. And we want 12 to 17. 
How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Hey, each nation is weak because of the government. And that is where Satan's seat is. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will set also upon the mount of the congregation. What the congregation is a church word. In the sides of the north. All right, I don't know where what the north is. But I can guarantee you. Uh, I would say probably. Then this is just my thought. Because I ain't really looked it up. But the Catholic Church. Rome. Okay. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. So he's trying he's trying to make him out to be God. Okay. Okay, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. See, God's gonna put him in the pit. Okay, that they see shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did take uh, shake kingdoms All right, look we're gonna look down on him and we're gonna say hey you mean tell me this little bitty character here is what made all the earth so crazy okay let's go to matthew 4. All right, Matthew 4, and we want 1 through 10. Now, this has got to be the biggest one <coughs> to show you that God is not the one that has dominion or has control, control is more the word, over this world. Because if, if he did, then Jesus would have said so right here. All right, let's go on. Uh, Matthew 4 and 1. Let's see. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. We're all tempted to. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Now, if you look at Moses and the 40 days and 40 nights and do some studying, that's some good teaching there. Uh, he was afterward hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones may be made bread. But he answered and said, Well, I want you to look back. If you're the Son of God, then command it. But if you're not the Son of God, don't do it. You know, you can't do it. You cannot do it. Okay? So he's tempting him. Hey, Jesus, do this. Okay? And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Where do you get the mouth of God at? Right here in the KJV. That's the mouth of God. Alright, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. All right, look, these you got these angels here to protect you. Why don't you do that? He wanted Jesus to give up, and but Jesus said, "No, I love you, people." Okay, that's what he says. Jesus said unto him. It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. See, you do not tempt God. And that's what Satan's doing. Is tempt and he is tempting you today. But the thing of it is, are you blind to his temptation? Again, the devil taketh him into an exceedingly high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. All right, now think, um, think about this. Sin City. Uh, L.A., wherever it's at. Just think about 
the generations that it has changed over time. And, and you see it changing. Look, I can give you all this. This is mine to give you. And I'm going to, I want you to pay attention to what Jesus, Jesus does not correct him. He does not correct him at all. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said unto him, Here we go. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone shalt thou serve. Alright. So, did God say, or Jesus Christ say, Satan, you can't do this. It's a, you can't do it. It's not yours to do. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. Okay? Alright. Let's go to Romans. And we want 12. 1 and 2. I, put, pus, uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your responsible service. And be not conformed to this world. In other words, don't go out there and be like them. Be separate. Be different than them. If they're going to do Christmas, you don't do Christmas. If they're going to go out there to the gay pride parade, stay away from it. All right, but be ye transformed by the renewing. Think of what they are doing and what they are saying and go find out really what the truth is. By the renewing of your mind that, that ye may prove that we, that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Let me reread that. Uh, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Alright. So that pretty well much tells you, you need to change your stinking thinking. Alright. Now, I want to go to one more. And right here. To uh, Romans 13. Now I want you all to pay attention to this now. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of God. The power that be are ordained of God. There's no other higher power. You cannot get no higher than God. Whosoever... Therefore, resist us the power, resist us the ordinance of God, and that they resist shall receive to themselves damnations. Okay, so if you think that the government has higher power, then you are going to have damnation. Alright. Uh, now look, now three. For rulers are not a terror to good works. In other words, they're not going to do good works. Okay? But to the evil. Want thou then to be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil... Be afraid, for he hath breathed not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God to re re revenge, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. In other words, if you do evil, then they're going to go ahead and get you. Okay? I mean, I, ha I have to say that the cops are out there for a reason. But. They're not going to do no good. They're mo they get the evil people too. Okay. But they get the good people too. Alright. Alright. Wherefore. You must need to be subject. Not only for wrath. 
but also for coincidence sake. Okay, look, if you are doing bad, then you need, you need them. But you cannot get any higher power than God. The government cannot be the higher power. If you put the government first, then that is your God. Alrighty. So, um, let's see. This right here has Ephesians 6.12. Let's go see what that one is. If I can find it. I think it's back this way more. <coughs> yep. Right here. Let's go see if we can't find six. Yep, right here. Alright, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now look, we don't fight really against the government. Okay? We're, let's go on. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. If you were Satan, where would you want to be? Right there on the government seat. Okay? Pick, take your choice. It don't matter. Take your choice. There's where you're going to get your power. Alright. Against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Where is the high places? The high places is right there on the government. And I'm going to tell you also, in the church, you have a government church. It's called the Vatican. So, we have... The Vatican that takes over the um, the church part of the world. Now, and we take over the war part of the of it. All right. So, I hope that I have shown you who is really running this world. I hope I have. I know I'm going to get some flack and. Okay, I'll just try to prove what I'm trying, what what God is trying to say. That's all I'm trying to do. And I really do love you guys, and I want you guys to um, <coughs> to know that Jesus Christ loves you too, and He wants your eyes open to see really what's going on in the world. Now, free speech is fixing to go down. And I don't put on these videos unless God lays it on my heart to put these videos on and to read you the verses that I read you because I can't do this on my own. <laughs> It's got to be, God is saying, wake up people, your time is short. And I would like to see that happen. Alright, hugs and kisses to you all.